Number five. Mrs. Schertz's electric bill for the month of February showed a total of 640 kilowatt hours. Her bill was $100. How much per kilowatt hours? So what I'm going to do for this one is I'm going to take $100 and I'm going to divide it by 640 kilowatt hours. And I'm going to get the price per kilowatt hour. So this ends up being a big old long division problem. But it's not really that hard in terms of um, being able to do without a calculator as long as you know how to do long division by hand. And so I'm going to take 640 and it's going to go into 100 here. And we're going to get um, the amount of money it costs per kilowatt hours. So when you do this, um, you're going to have to add a zero, so make sure you bring the decimal point up. And 640 goes into 1,000 once. 1 times 640 is 640, and I subtract, and I get 320. I'm going to add another zero and bring it down. 640 goes into um, 3,200 five times. And off to the side, I can do my math, 640 times 5 and I get um, 3,200 here. So 5 times 640, I'm sorry, when I subtracted here, this is actually, sorry, 3,600. My apologies, so 36 here. And then um, 5 times 640, this is still correct, is 3,200. So I'm going to subtract, and I'm going to get 400. I'm going to add a zero, I'm going to drop it down. And um, 640 goes into 4,000 six times. But see, I can stop here because it says on the problem to round to the nearest cent. So it's going to round to 16 cents. So my answer is um, 0.16. So 16 cents per kilowatt hours. And again, um, we don't cancel any of these units. These units stay in our answer. Number six. If Mrs. Schertz's uh, family used the same amount of electricity for the entire year, how many megawatts would her family use in the year for the whole household? Remember to convert kilowatt hours to megawatt hours. So, um, we start with 640 from the last problem in the, uh, not the answer, but in the prompt uh, for the last problem. It told us 640 kilowatt hours per month, and we're going to multiply this by 12 months per year. So now our months cancel. And we're going to end up, and again, you can do your math on the side, so go ahead and do your math on the side here. And when you do your math on the side, you get 7680. And so my answer is 7680 kilowatt hours per year, but that's not what it's asking for. It's asking for megawatts. So there's a couple things from metric math. You know that going from kilowatts to megawatts, you're going to a bigger unit, so therefore you need a smaller number. So you can move the decimal place over by three. Or you can also know that one megawatt is equal to a thousand kilowatts. And so either way works, and you get the same answer, which is 7.6 megawatts per um, year. So my kilowatts cancel, and this is my answer right here. Going on to number seven. Mrs. Schertz's natural gas usage was 74 therms for the month of March. That's just a unit of how we measure natural gas is measured in therms. 49 therms were charged at a baseline charge of 74 uh, cents per therm and 25 therms were charged at over the baseline charge at 98 cents per therm. What is the total price of natural gas for the month? 
They do this on electric bill and gas bills. They charge you, the more you use, the higher the price, and it promotes energy conservation. So I have 30, 49 therms that cost 74 cents per therm. Plus, I have 25 therms that cost me a higher price, 98 cents per therm. So now my therms all cancel out here and here. And so I'm going to take um, 0.74 times 49. And I'm going to get 36.26. And then over here, I'm going to take uh, 0.98 times 25. And I'm going to get 24.5 uh, when I do this math on the side. And so I'm going to end up here with 36.26 plus 24.50. And so my total electric bill is $60.76. So it's not a very hard calculation, this one. Um, it's just some calculations of math and just setting it up. And last but not least, we have number eight. There are four people living in her home. How many therms per capita? So 74 therms divided by four people. And now I'm going to get therms per person. So now four goes into 74. So I can do this math. And I get 18.5 therms per person. And that's how you do these energy math problems.